From events at the Senate, there is pressure on the Directorate of Criminal Investigations to come clean over the murder of a Nairobi West prison warden. Constable Ken Kavunga died after being rescued from a mob lynching in Kilimani after he was suspected of taking part in an armed robbery. However, our Crimes and Investigations desk has unearthed fresh details that suggest that Kavunga was strangled to death while in police custody. Brian Abuya has that report. The body of 28-year-old Ken Kavunga Wali is being loaded into a house for transfer from the city mortuary. Until the night of December 24th, Kavunga was a police constable serving at the Nairobi West Prison as his second jurisdiction since joining the service in 2014. Little was known about the soft-spoken prison warden, whose killing is just as controversial as the circumstances. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations and Witnesses say Kavunga accosted a woman at around 9 p.m. along Mushai Drive armed with a Cheska pistol. He was accompanied by two other accomplices and reportedly robbed the woman of her phone and other valuables and then sped off with their getaway motorcycle before being chased and overpowered by revelers who were attending a party nearby. <laughs> Police say Kavunga's two accomplices escaped on foot, but the prison warden was beaten badly by the mob before officers based at Capitol Hill Police Station arrived at the scene and saved him from the mob. The DCI say the prison warden later succumbed to his injuries at the Kenyatta National Hospital. On that specific day, Walisa, he had a pistol which was loaded with 15 ammunition. He never used even one. That gun has never committed a crime. Can we know the truth, what really happened to my brother? Because before we lay him to rest, we need to know what really happened to him. We need justice for this. Because the same, same thing when you can have a new one, but I'm going to be at a new level. And this is what we don't want to be part of uh, a new Katika Kenya. A Cheska pistol with 15 rounds of ammunition, which is a Kenya police issue, was recovered from the deceased. A motorbike was also impounded. But it is the police own statement, contradictions, and a post mortem report that has placed the police establishment right at the center of Kavunga's murder case. The autopsy report has shown that the late Kavunga did not die of the mob beating, but was strangled to death. The police Strangulation makes us, uh, you know, wonder at what point did that strangulation occur? Because it is not, it doesn't make sense that someone is strangled during a mob lynching where the same person is being hit by members of the public. Dr. Ndegwa's report says the deceased may have been strangled using a sharp string. The Kenyatta National Hospital has also disputed the narrative that the late Kavunga was admitted and died at the facility. The hospital has told NTV that if Kavunga died at the facility, his body would have been preserved at the KNH farewell home and not at the city mortuary where his body was found. Brian Abuya, NTV.